Jake. Uh, John Walker, who writes for us, came up with the calculations. And he found that there are 315,000 families in the U.S. that make over a million dollars a year. And there are 130 million taxpayers. So if you extend the Bush tax cuts for people who make over a million dollars a year, you're going to put them about $100,000 in each one of their pockets. For the exact same price, for the same low, low price, you can put a $1,000 check into the pocket of every taxpayer. Hi, I'm Barack Obama, and I have a check for you. Make it really clear, this is what the Republicans want. They want to extend the Bush tax cuts and give $100,000 to millionaires, or you can have $1,000. What is it? What would you rather have? But there's, but there's no way that wouldn't work. I mean, if he comes in with a check and says, all right, all right, here's how I'm gonna, here's how I'm gonna play. I'm either gonna give you this thousand dollars, or I'm gonna give a lot of money to the rich. What do you guys want? I mean, come on, really? Can the Obama White House really, with a straight face, say, oh no, that would be a losing political uh, cause? Well, number one, what do you re what do your viewers think? Republican, Democrat, whatever you have, what do you think? What would you rather have? Would you rather have this tax break for millionaires on the the theory that maybe they'll put some of it back into the economy and create more jobs? Didn't work for jo when George Bush did it, or we wouldn't have 10 percent unemployment. But moreover. The people, I heard John Harwood say, no, we don't have 60 votes in the Senate. There are 54 millionaires in the Senate. Over half of the people in the Senate are millionaires. And if they vote to give these tax breaks, $100,000, they're putting money in their own pockets. And it coming, it's coming out of your pockets. All right, Jane, I want to show you a chart here, because this is amazing. Uh, it turns out, for, if you're in the lower 20% of income, uh, the tax breaks that they're talking about here, these tax cuts, would give you $45 back. All right, 45 bucks, okay, I can live with it. The middle class uh, in this country get on average $880 back, okay? Now that's debatable as to whether, you know, we, that should go towards a deficit, they should get it back, etc. But get a load of this. The top 0.1% on average get from the Bush tax cuts $339,473. Is there, American people, do they really want the top 0.1% to give it over $300,000 a piece? Is that what Obama and the Democrats, and certainly all of the Republicans, that's what they're saying with a straight face? When there's 10% 10, 10 unemployment, it's time for populism. It's time for unbridled populism. And a check for $1,000 is populism. Same price. It will have much more stimulative effect. Any economist would tell you so. You know, Mark Zandi at Moody's put out a chart that said that uh, the average stimulative effect of extending the Bush tax cuts for the wealthy is about 26 cents on the dollar. But actually giving direct money rebates to people would be about $1.26. So, you know, it's better policy. It's better better politics, and people in this country right now could really use it. And so could the businesses that they would go out and spend it on for Christmas gifts, for food. Uh, it's, it's good politics, so I, I think that uh, your idea is fabulous, Jenkins.